for our scriptures today. So, yes, yes, yes. Praise God. So, anyway. Ready. All right. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo para la, por la mañana. And welcome, everybody, to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Here in Martha, Texas. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. One thing I want to say is prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Because God has something for you. Amen. He has something for you. He has a gift. You know, when he gives you something, you take it. And when you take it, it's yours. Amen. But he wants you to take it. Amen. So all of you that are listening by audio, watching by video, prepare yourselves to receive. Los que estén escuchando por audio, los que estén viendo por video, prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. He wants to bless you. He wants to encourage you. And he wants to change you. And he wants to set you free. Amen. He says, cast all those cares on him because he cares for you. So let it go. El Señor lo quiere bendecir, lo quiere animar y lo quiere cambiar. Amen. So you get ready and leave changed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So praise God, church. Say it like you mean it. Grab your swords, grab your Bibles, and you look at the screen up here and read with me. Amen. Say, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Man, you confess something like that, and you're on fire. Amen. You're ready to go burn something. <laughs> so praise God. You know you're a consuming fire. That's what the word of God says. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. I'm excited, church. I don't know about you. We just second Sunday in uh, in January, so we're going to continue with our message, and this is opening the new year. Amen. Yeah. We've closed the old. <laughs> the old is gone. The past is gone. So we're opening the new year, part three. Amen. And He calls us to be passionate believers for Him. Amen. Not just uh, once in a while, but yearly, daily. Stay stirred up. Stay hungry, mm -hmm. and stay passionate for him. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> I stay very hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry already. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about spiritually. <laughs> spiritually. Passionate. I'm glad you asked. Passionate is <laughs> having a powerful emotion. Enthusiastic. Excited. Amen? Yeah. I was really excited before the Cowboy game yesterday, <laughs> but not so excited after the game. <laughs> In case you didn't hear, they lost. <laughs> Passionate, being on fire, stirred up, you know? Hey, all of us can, can do this, amen? But you, you know what? You got to have a relationship, and you got to know who your God is, and you got to know who you are in Him, amen? And when you know you're on fire, you know, uh, I, I use this all the time, but... Uh, when David arrived to bring lunch to his brothers, the Israeli army was just sitting back, unmotivated, scared, because the giant, one giant, got them all scared. <laughs> David came passionate for God, on fire for God, stirred up for God, and he says, what's wrong with you guys? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? He says, Greater is he that sent me than he that said, well, this is Jose saying it. <laughs> and he didn't say that. <laughs> but he, he knew his God. He knew he had a relationship right. with his God. He says, when the bear came, when the lion came, he says, God saw me through it. Yeah. And he's going to see you through it, no matter what comes against you. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you keep your eye on the screen, we're going to read a few scriptures here. Amen. And these are our texts. And I think I gave you some scripture last week on how to stay hungry, how to stay motivated. Hey, man, we got to make a choice and say, hey, you know, if you just go by the world's way, all they have is sad news. You know, you're supposed to be the good news going somewhere to happen. But if you hear the word or if you hear or see nothing but the bad news, it's going to bring you down if you allow it to. That's why he tells us to renew our minds on a daily basis. Because, hey, we got to stay motivated. We got to yeah. stay stirred up. We got to stay right. passionate for Him. Amen. If you don't stay passionate for Him, guess what? They're going to do it for you. Uh -huh. And you're going to go the wrong way. You're going down instead of up. Because nothing out there really is up and up. Amen? So, here's our first text, uh, uh, one of our first texts. 
And uh, it says this, Philippians four, uh, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. And I think I gave you a list. You mark these down yourself and you read them for yourself. Not that I have already obtained all this or have I already arrived at my goals. He says, but I press on to take hold of what um, that for which uh, Christ Jesus took hold for me. He says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, forgetting yes. the past, forgetting whatever yesterday, yes. and straining forward mm -hmm. towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, yesterday's gone. Yes. <laughs> Last year's gone. Oh, yeah. Amen. If we didn't God. do enough, so it's time to get our priority list ready and put him first mm -hmm. and keep him on the throne. You know, step aside, step down, and put him there and take yourself off. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and you know, when you do this, you get your priorities in order, things will go a whole lot better. Things go God's way. Amen. And that's what we want. We want God's way and not my way. Amen. If you go your way, you're going to hit the highway. <laughs> Amen. Go to number two. Slide number two. <clears throat> says that I can do some things mm -hmm. through oh, Christ or through him. Oh, I can do all I can do everything, everything through, through him. him who yeah. gives me the strength. Yeah. You need strength, <laughs> you go to him. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need strength on a daily basis. Yeah. I mean from moment to moment I need strength. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because Lord, I need you. He's got me on a mission. So guess what? You go to the mission giver <laughs> and you go to him. And you say, Lord, I need strength. Yeah. You know, what did Jesus do? He told his disciples, you know, hey, I need to go spend time with the Father because I need some strength. <laughs> Amen. So if he did it, so can we. He says, come to me. He says, cast it all on me. Give it all to me. Now, I'm going to give you strength that you need on a daily basis so that you can go and fulfill what God's called you to do. And don't say, well, he's never called me or, you know, he never talks to me. Well, he does. We're just not listening. You know, when your phone goes off, uh -huh. <laughs> you pick it up because you hear it. You hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's time to answer your phone. And pick it up and say, God wants to talk with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says he's there. He wants to, he's knocking and he wants to come in. Of course, we read it from the from the uh, uh, NIV. Mm -hmm. But the King James says, I can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Not some things. He says all things. All things. When we give him all the glory, amen, when we give him all the honor and say, Lord, it's because of you, I can yes. do all these things. Yes. Amen. And that's what David was doing. He said, I, I took care of the bear and I took care of the lion, but that's because God was with me. Amen. He gave me the strength to do that. And I want you to, to read it this way here. It says, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you notice, I want you to see this, that he's doing something. He's rolling up his sleeves. That means on a daily basis, yeah. we need to roll our sleeves up yeah. and say, <laughs> he wants you to do something. He wants us to be available. He wants us to be participators, yeah. not yeah. spectators. <laughs> right. you, you know, when you spectate, you put yourself on the throne and you take God off. <laughs> and you know, when you put yourself on the throne, nobody's good enough. <laughs> no, everybody is doing it wrong but oh, you. <laughs> So you got to take yourself off the throne and say, I can do all things through him yes. which strengthens me. I need your strength. Yes. But you got to roll your sleeves up and say, I'm going to do for him. Amen. Amen. Because you have a calling. He's called you and qualified you yes. and approved you. Yeah. If he's approved you, don't worry about the world's approval. You know, remember, if you try to please the world, you never will. That's right. If God is pleased, I'm a God pleaser, not a world pleaser. Yeah. <laughs> when, God, when God is pleased, <laughs> you could you could do it. He's pleased, so don't worry. You know what? Majority says no. You say yes because the word of God says this. Yes, I can do all things through Christ. All things. Yes, Amen. So praise God. <clears throat> Go to the next one. I'm getting us motivated all because right, we can yeah. do all things through Him. Yes. Number three says what? Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, uh -huh. he's a what? New creation. New creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. Yeah. And of course I use this because it's beautiful. How many of you ever seen a butterfly? Oh yeah. Well it didn't start that way. It used to be an ugly little worm. 
<laughs> I guess it's a cocoon, whatever you call that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but look, he got away from it. The past is gone. Mm -hmm. And the new, the beautiful is here. Yeah. That's you. And you know, you got to know these things because people, world is going to come and tell you uh -huh. what you used to be. Oh, yeah. But you got to let them know, that's right, mm -hmm. used to be. Used to be. I don't live there no more. That's right. I'm a new person. I'm a new creation. Mm -hmm. Let go of the past. People want to hold you back. Distractions. Things want to hold you back. I'm a new thing in Christ. He's called me on this mission. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to succeed mm -hmm. as long as I quit going back. Yeah. People, things will try to hold you back. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm a new thing. You see how the old cocoon is just laying there? It's gone. Go to the next slide, please. This is... Ah. Ah. How well we know these things, we just have to do them. <laughs> Wisdom say, be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understandings will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So guess what? These anxieties, <laughs> these cares, mm -hmm. these problems face you on a daily basis. Yes, they do. <laughs> Storms of life, giants, whatever you want to call them, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> they are going to face you and you have to meet them. They even have a, a couch there for you so you can <laughs> relax. <laughs> Cast it all on, on him and then you can relax. <laughs> but be anxious for nothing. nothing. What he says, give it to me. Uh -huh. Why are you still holding on to it? Give it all. Give it up. Give it up. I sent you on this mission, and I want you to fulfill this mission, but you have to give up some things. And you know, as long as you are staying stirred up, as long as you stay in focus, you can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. But you got to give it to him and get motivated and get passionate about what you're doing. Yes, Amen. You. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, you know, we're going to read one. It's not up here, but we're going to read it. Go to Matthew. We, we read it uh, last week, uh, Mark 16. Uh -huh. And uh, don't tell me you don't have a calling on your life. Amen. So open your Bibles. If you never open your Bible, dust it off, open it up, and go to uh, Mark chapter 16. Yeah. Amen. And this is for you. We tell you to personalize your Bible. Make it your own. Yes, amen. <laughs> it says, <clears throat> uh, verses 15 through 18, we're going to read. He says, and he said unto them, Jesus said unto them, mm -hmm. and it's a bread. All right. So he's talking to you. He says, yes. go you or ye. <laughs> That's you. Mm -hmm. Scratch the you off, put your name there. Yeah. So you've got a call on you right now. He wants... He's sending you on a mission right now. Right he says, go into all the world mm -hmm. and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, woman, child, every creature. He says, and he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Uh -huh. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name that shall cast out devils. You know, devils don't want to be cast out. <laughs> you have to force them out. Oh, yes. Amen. They like where they're at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been babying them, spoiling them too much. <laughs> and they want to stay where they are. This is my house. <laughs> Jesus told Legion, he says, what is your name? He says, Legion. He says, what? Legion meaning me. And he cast them out. Uh -huh. And they asked permission, can we go into those twines over there? Can we go into them pigs over there? Mm -hmm. He says, go. He cast them out. They went, and those pigs went crazy and just went over the cliff. But you have to force them out. You got to cast them out. But you have the word in you. Mm -hmm. And greater is he that's in you. And when you speak, you speak with a authority. I'm not backing off. Satan, <laughs> you're not going to have me on the run anymore. I'm going to put you on the run. So I'm casting you out now in Jesus' name. Go now. It says, Cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. And 18 says, and they shall uh, take they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. You know, I do these things because of what God tells me to. It says, lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. 
I'm not doing it in my power. I'm laying hands on the sick because he's told me to. And he's given me this. He's called, says, go ye into the world. That's you. And you do these things, you know, so it's not, you don't have to call pastor all the time and say, hey, pastor, you have to come and lay hands on this person. Mm -hmm. No, you can pray for that person. Mm -hmm. You can lay on that person, lay hands on that person. Mm -hmm. It says, hey, the same Jesus, that authority is in you. That power is in you. Yeah. Lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yeah. Sickness, go in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. These signs shall accompany them. That's you. You have these things with you. But you got to stay passionate to know I can do all things through yeah. Christ. Some of these scriptures, go go to the next. So this one was not on there, but you mark this down and you write this down, yeah. that you have a calling. He's called us all to go into the world and preach the gospel. Amen. Who? Hallelujah. <clears throat> Amen. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. <laughs> the second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. There is no commandment greater than these. Amen. Amen. And we are to go out <laughs> into all the world <laughs> and preach the gospel to all creatures. <laughs> Put your Jesus glasses on <laughs> and love them with love. Have love and compassion. People don't care how much you know until you show how much you care. Amen. Have love, have compassion. Amen. The love and compassion of Jesus. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> be excited for them. <laughs> don't be sad. <laughs> he didn't call you to uh, to hate. He called you to love. Amen. There's no greater commandment. There's no greater commandment than to love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I think that's all of my scriptures for now, right? It's almost like, let me see what else you got. Give me one more slide. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Romans 12 and 2. Yeah, I had it down, but I didn't know. It says, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by what? Renew in your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 and 2. So don't try to be like the world, That's right. but be transformed, Amen. just like that butterfly was transformed from one little worm, cocoon, whatever you want to call that thing, to a butterfly. You know, books inform you, <laughs> but yes. only God can transform you. Oh, that's Amen. Right. That's you can you can have all the information you want, mm -hmm. and have, but God can transform you. Amen. Amen. Keep going. Next slide. This is the last one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's the same thing, except I just wanted to show you another beautiful picture of the butterfly. There's no, do not conform any longer to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we know, we know, we know that the enemy attacks. The battlefield is the mind. Amen. You're thinking things. And he can't even force you to do anything, but he can put thoughts and you think these thoughts, you meditate on them, and you can give in. But if you know the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy, if you're thinking this way, just delete it. Get rid of it. That's Don't right. accept this. No, That's I'm right. not going to do that. I'm Amen. not going to give in. Stop listening to these lies. <laughs> He'll put them there, but you get rid of it. Amen? Just get rid of it. Renew your mind constantly, mm -hmm. daily, as often as it takes. Yeah. Amen? Sometimes at first, you might have to do it all the time. I don't receive that. I delete that. Amen. And you know what? When you start filling yourself with the word of God, you're going to be ready and stirred up and, and, and have the word. They say, out of the innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. When you fill yourself with the word, your faith fails. And uh, if your fears come out, all whatever lacks, whatever held you back, it's got to come out. Amen. And I'm going to be bold enough to walk in faith on a daily basis. So from now on, every time I step out, I want to step out in faith. Because greater is he to save me. And the greater one will step out with me. My faith is going with me. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Hallelujah. All right. So we'll start there. I mean, we'll leave off there. And uh, just wanted to say a happy new year. We're only second Sunday of this month. So still a happy new year to you. 
Hallelujah. So be a passionate, be passionate for God. Amen. And we're going to start right here. Amen. Jesus is, uh, wants us to be, uh, wants us to put some muscle. He wants us to put some muscle or some energy into serving him, some emotion in our relationship with him. He wants us to be full-time Christians and not half-hearted Christians. Right. <laughs> Come on now. Be enthused about it. Be committed. Yes. Amen. Amen. Give it all you got. Give me your best. Remember, he gave his best. God, for God so loved the world, John 3, 16. We didn't have a slide on it. For God so loved the world, he gave his best. He yes. gave Jesus. Yes, he did. Amen. And Jesus gave it his all. He went all the way to the cross. Yes, he did. Amen. So, so can we. Give it our best. Are you giving it your best? Only you can answer that question. <laughs> Are you going to follow me and be passionate about me? He says, give it some fire. Put on some fire. Be on fire for him, not lukewarm. Yeah. He wants us to be hot and not cold. Mm -hmm. He says hot or cold, he says, but not lukewarm. Not lukewarm. Don't, 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 don't be half-hearted. Mm -hmm. Don't be uh, part-time Christians. No, be. You know, part-time Christians, no, no match to the full-time devil. That's right. You're gonna Amen. Be, you're gonna have and the devil, <laughs> the mm -hmm. devil knows. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're going around, <laughs> I, love, I love to say this, we, we go around as leaky Christians, you know. Leaky. <laughs> Saying things. Mm -hmm. When you when you get uh, yourself uh, uh Lukewarm, you start saying things the world is saying. Mm -hmm. And you start saying things, confessing things that are not good. Come on now. So the Bible wants us to be, uh, it wants us to seek God passionately, love yeah. Him passionately, serve Him passionately, yeah. and trust Him passionately Amen. on a daily basis. Yes. Not just once in a while. All right now. You know, when things are going okay. Oh, man. <laughs> but all ah. the time. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, when, 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 when you walk around like this, <laughs> I've told you this before. People are curious and they want to know why are you always laughing? Why are we are you always oh, joyful? Why are you always cheerful? Because, <laughs> because Jesus, when they open the door, you yeah. step in and you say, I love Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus loves you. I got a word for you. Jesus loves you. <laughs> Jesus died for you. Jesus wants you. Come Jesus on, has Lord. a calling for you. Come on now. now come on now. It's time. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. In America, it's okay to be passionate about everything. All right. Amen. And some things they're passionate about, of course, uh -huh. is politics, sports, theater, movies, fashions, and clothes. Foods, of course. Sports. <laughs> sports. Yeah. Mm. But they cannot be passionate about God. Mm. Oh, don't say that. Mm. But you know, if you're going to hang out with me, all you're going to hear is Jesus. You're going to hear God. You're going to hear about the good news. <laughs> So, you know what? If you don't want to hang around me, that's fine, too. <laughs> Praise God. He wants us to be passionate. Amen? Amen. He wants us to serve him. Yes. Huh. Set your priorities right this year and seek him. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. So, no more excuses. That's right. God's not looking for perfect people. That's right. He's looking for available people. Mm -hmm. Amen? So, you are that available. Make yourself that available person. Amen. Amen. Open Praise yourself God. up and say, you know what? Thank you, Lord. It's time to repent. It's time to confess. And it's time to come back to him. Yes. Amen. So be passionate for him. Yes. Get fired up this new year and serve him and obey him, whatever he's got for you. Yes. Amen. Yeah. It's about getting yourself, uh, your blood pumping, <laughs> excited, motivated. I know Bernard and, uh, and uh, Pam, they... They, they live, they live, they walk, you know, and they get passionate about that. They get their pu uh, blood pumping, and they get excited for Jesus, amen? So we got to get stirred up ourselves, amen? Get yourself doing this on a, not only on a daily basis, but a yearly basis, amen? So, you know, not, not just once in a while, you know, doing this uh, spiritual exercise on a daily basis, not just once in a while, you know. We got to stay spiritually, I don't know how I want to say this, um, uh, fit spiritually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amen? Yes. <laughs> of course, praise God. So here in Texas, of course, uh, we, we, we love history, we love our flags, we love our food, and we love our football team. <laughs> Sorry, Dallas. 
They love it. <laughs> we are called, but we're called to be passionate for God. Amen. And I'm going to show you if you're going to hang around with me. <laughs> Jesus was passionate about redemption of men. For God so loved the world, he sent Jesus. And Jesus, redemption, the salvation of men, the deliverance of men, the liberation, the, the recovery of men. God gave his best. Jesus gave his best, and we must give our best. Amen? Woo! So what comes to mind when you hear passionate? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Being excited. <laughs> you know, when you were first, some of us have been saved for a while. You know, when I first got saved, I was on fire. I couldn't stop reading the Word. I couldn't stop assembling myself, coming to church, and That's being excited. Good. Every time church opened, I was Amen. open. Amen? Reading books. Getting uh, uh, motivated, yeah. getting stirred up, amen. amen. Staying passionate, <laughs> couldn't get enough Bible studies, Bible reading. Mm -hmm. Makes you think of people you know who are still excited about being saved. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of you remember somebody. I remember a friend, Bill Steen. <laughs> yeah, if you're around him, oh, I said, my Oh my goodness. God. That's all they talk about is God, you know, and scripture and testimonies about what God has brought him through. Yeah. Amen. But he was on fire for God. Amen. He was a passionate believer, not just when he first got saved, but he's in his 80s now. Yeah. And he's still on fire for God. Amen. So, you know, we have to remember just because you're older, don't mean you got to retire That's from right. serving God. Refire. <laughs> Refire. Refire yourself all the time on a daily basis. Mm. Amen. We get excited from season to season. You know, it depends on what is showing or what sports is on. We get excited about those things. We need to stay excited about Jesus year-round. Amen. <laughs> and you know what? Let it show. Let it show because yeah, people yeah. need to see it. And people yeah. are going to ask you because they don't want you to be happy. Uh -uh. Amen. Everybody's sad but you. What is what is wrong with you? Mm. <laughs> well, nothing's wrong with me. I'm just excited to serve my God. Yes. Amen. See yourself Praise that way. God. Be a passionate believer. Get yeah. motivated. Get passionate about Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the choice is yours. You gotta stay passionate, but it's your choice. Yes. Amen. Don't let the world dictate to you. That's right. <laughs> So why not stay passionate for God? Serving Him and His people passionately yes. as we start this new year. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read you a story. You can mark this down and I'll read it to you. <clears throat> mark 2, chapter 2, verses 1 through 5 from the New Living Translation. It's about four passionate people. Jesus is about Jesus healing a paralyzed man. It says, when Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back at home. Mm. Verse 2 says, Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with visitors mm. that there was no room <coughs> even outside while he was preaching. <laughs> says, Verse 3 says, Four men, four passionate men, uh -huh. four passionate people yeah. arrived with a paralyzed man on a mat. And verse 4 says, They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of the crowd. That's right. <laughs> Some of us would have just turned around and went back. Oh, yeah. Just dropped the man down and say, hey, maybe you will try it again some other time. <laughs> <laughs> they saw the crowd. So guess what? They dug a hole through the roof. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, right uh, on the roof right above where Jesus was preaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't think about it. I wonder what the owners got of the house is going to say. <laughs> they didn't think about, well, we're going to interrupt Jesus' preaching, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> they just dug a roof and they let him down. They want Jesus uh, to lay hands on him. Uh -huh. Then they lowered the man on the mat right in front of Jesus. Now, how do they know <laughs> where to dig the hole? <laughs> and it came right in front of Jesus. <laughs> Praise <laughs> God. <laughs> Seeing Jesus to see in their faith. So you got to see this yourself. You know, we tend to see all the negative and all 
the bad about people All right. before we see the good. Oh, boy. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. That's why you wear your Jesus glasses. Because you have to have love and compassion. Jesus, uh -huh. seeing their faith. Yes. Amen. He's got x ray vision. <laughs> he sees their faith. <clears throat> Jesus said to the paralyzed man, My child, your, your sins are forgiven. How do you know this? Oh, that, that woke him up. <laughs> Why didn't he say, You guys, you see me preaching? Get out of here. I'll tend to you later. This is my time. He didn't address them first. That's right. He addressed the, the man, the paralyzed man. He says, child, your sins are forgiven. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, stand up, pick up your man and go home. <laughs> right in front of the crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, you know when I preach the word, I don't preach the word to build myself up. I preach the word because this is what he wants me to preach. And I magnify him, not me. And I magnify him and not the problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. He says, stand up, pick up your mat and go home. And verse 12 says, and the man jumped up. The paralyzed man. <laughs> jumped up. You know, he could have said, but I can't. I'm paralyzed. <laughs> By faith. He jumped up, grabbed his mat, and he walked out through right. the stunned, stunned lookers. Huh. The people in the crowd are stunned. They just saw a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you can't do that. That's impossible. Oh my God. That can't happen. You know, we've all been, we've all been there. Mm -hmm. We got to receive by faith. We got to yes. believe by faith. And we can yes. do all things through Christ yes, all by things. faith. Amen. Yes. <laughs> stunned onlookers. And they were all amazed and praised God passionately, ex ex exclaiming, we never seen anything like this before. <laughs> you know, Jesus is still, uh, yes. we're still there's still Thank miracles Lord. happening. Yes. Amen. But you know, Hallelujah. I want you to, I, I don't want to shock you, but miracles is not for the believers. That's right. As believers, we should already be built up and yes. know and love yes. our God enough to know yes. what he's able to do. Amen. That's These right. miracles are for the onlookers, uh -huh. the unsaved, yeah. that see these things happen yeah. and say, wow, I didn't know your God could do this. Uh -huh. And of course, you're going to say, well, I knew all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I know my God. Oh, I'm crying on my God. <laughs> but it's the unsaved to uh -huh. see the miracles Amen. you know people get up people talk yeah. you know or people see they were blind i know my god is able to do those things but you know he wants you to bring the message to the lost world amen, amen. <laughs> here's a mission to get the paralyzed paralyzed man to jesus uh -huh. and you know that you never said anything to those men mm -hmm. but i meant they were blind for doing what they did because they were doing their ministry. They were doing the work of God. Yeah. Amen. They were committed. This is commitment right here. <laughs> this is commitment. These yeah. men knew Jesus could help. Yes. Do you know your God? Mm -hmm. They knew their God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And they brought him there. Yeah. They didn't say, well, you know, I wonder what he's going to say. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he'll say anything. Oh, you'll probably get mad. you probably, I don't know what will happen. But still, they did what they did. Amen. Amen. Same thing. This is relationship. This is commitment. Yes. Just like David knew his God when he went in front of the giants. We step out in front of our giants on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Know your God. Yes. Have a relationship with him. See him and spend time with him before you see the world. Yes. <laughs> because the world can have you quick. Yeah. Amen. You're no match to the enemy and you're no match to the world without Jesus. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 We can be like these four passionate men on a daily basis. Yes. We can be like these passionate men on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. All the time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Remember, he's looking for available people. Excuse not me. perfect people. <laughs> <laughs> if you read your Bible, mm -hmm. you'll find out that a whole lot of all these Bible heroes, God used, Jesus used, mm -hmm. none of them were perfect. That's 
right. They all had sin. Yes, they did. But God used them anyway. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so don't disqualify yourself because he's already qualified you. Yeah. Amen. Don't disqualify yourself because the world says or because so-and-so says mm -hmm. he can never use you anymore. He used Peter after Peter denied him three times. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if it's not scriptural, if it's not in the word, know your word so that you don't just listen to what anybody says, so-and-so right. says. And if you're fallen, if you've said repent, get back up. And yes. it's time to press on Amen. with the things of God. Amen. Right. <laughs> Jonah was in the belly of a whale. Mm. And he repented. So yes. guess what? God wasn't finished with him. He said, go into right. go, go, go in Nineveh, and, uh, and I want you to preach my, my word. Mm -hmm. Set the people free. Yes. He said, no, I'm going the other way. <laughs> 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 he was disobedient. He got it. He was in the... Uh, he was in the ship, and they threw him overboard. Says, "If you throw me over, you having this storm." He said, "If you throw me over, things will be fine with you." So they did. They threw him over. <laughs> but God had already arranged for this big fish to swallow them. Amazing. And God didn't disqualify him. He says, "Well, I can't use you anymore." He could have left them in the fish. <laughs> he said, "Okay, I, I'll go. <laughs> I would too." So he went and spread him out in the shore of uh, Nineveh. Amen. Right, he so was he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't finished with him. Mm -hmm. He even took him the rest of the way and spread him out right in the shore, so he could go and uh, do what fulfill what God what what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. He wants to do the same with you. You disqualified yourself. The world has disqualified you. Mm -hmm. Your family, your friends, everybody else has disqualified you. What God has already qualified, mm -hmm. and all you need to do is. Listen to what his word has to say, what he has to say for you, mm -hmm. and dust yourself off. It's time to get up and, 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 and press on. Amen. And be passionate about it. Yes. You know, and you know where people are going to talk and say things, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, That's these right. four passionate men were not concerned with what people were saying. That's right. You know, they weren't concerned about that. Mm. So just be just know that you can do these things yourself. Amen. Mm. Amen. <laughs> they wouldn't settle. <laughs> These four passionate men, they wouldn't settle for just a note. <laughs> they said, well, you know, maybe I'll just text him. <laughs> I'll just text him, you know, and see if, if, if he's available to uh, to lay hands on this man. <laughs> they wouldn't settle for Jesus uh, sending one of his disciples. <laughs> no. They wouldn't settle for anything. And don't, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that either. What is your passion today? What is the one thing that we must do? Mm. Of course, you know, receive him as your Lord and Savior. Get yeah. saved. <laughs> serve him. Yeah. Serve him. You know, once you get saved, serve him passionately. Obey him and go. It says go, Matthew uh, 16, 15 through 18. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah. And you know where your world is? is right where you're at. Yes. Amen. Amen. Wherever your, your workplace is. Yes. Amen. Wherever the uh, store is, wherever the work, uh, grocery place is, mm -hmm. that's your world. That's your Amen. area. Amen. You leave these four walls and you go and do for, for, for him. Amen. We, we just know he's with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Know what he's calling you to do and and, 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 and then be uh, passionate and be strong for him. Amen. If you don't know where you're going, you'll probably end up somewhere else. Amen. <laughs> but he has a plan for you. And guess what? Stay in tune with him. You'll end up at the right place. Stay passionate in fulfilling God's plan for your life. Stay focused and enjoy where you are on the way Amen. where you're going. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Where am I going? Heaven bound. Amen. When you get heaven bound and you get there, he'll say, welcome home, good and faithful servant. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. He has a great plan for you. And this scripture right here, uh, Proverbs 6, uh, 16, 13 says, depend on the Lord in whatever you do yes. and your plans will succeed. Yes. I'm depending on you, Lord. I need you. Amen. On a daily basis. Yes. And your plans will succeed. Yes. He knows your plans. You know, 
So go to the one that knows your plans. Uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 also tells us he has plans for us. He knew you before you were born. And he has great plans for you. Amen. Do not go to someone who does not know and will misguide you. Yeah. Don't go to unqualified people right, and give them <laughs> everything about you. Yeah, oh my. Amen. Oh. Tell them your life story. Don't go to Facebook oh. and dump all your stuff on there oh for people God. to read yeah. that don't know how to guide you. That's right. That's right. Or tell you. Amen. Be careful. Amen. Don't go to unqualified people and share your cares or your problems. Mm. Amen. You go to the one that knows your plans. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I said no horse, no uh, horoscopes, psychic, witch, beer, booze, drugs. <laughs> Not even Facebook oh, can help you. Now, what, right. What's that? What do you call? Dear Abby? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't go to Dear Abby. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you have a check in your spirit. When you have a relationship, you'll have a check. Well, you know where to go. You go to him instead of having to go to somebody else. People gather around and share all kind of bad stuff. Don't you go and drop your stuff in there. You go to the one that knows you. The only one, the only one that knows your plans. Amen. So praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to. In there, Amen. we're going to close there. He wants us to be on fire for Him. Amen. Amen. He's a jealous God, and He wants us to totally, mm. totally, go, totally be committed to Him. What's commitment? Mm. Commitment is this: knowing that He can depend on you. Yeah. Can He depend on you? Only you can answer that. Yeah. But you know, keep yourself, keep yourself. Strong. Keep yourself yeah. in relationship with him. Keep yourself strong. Keep the word in you. Keep learning. You know, never see yourself as a failure. Right. I don't know this. I don't know that. But you know, you're learning on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You get the word, more word in you on a daily basis. And build yourself up. Mm -hmm. And your faith is going to go up. And you're going to step out in faith. Don't disqualify what God has already qualified. Amen. Right. Commitment. God can count on you. He yeah. wants us total. He wants total surrender. He wants us to be. He wants to be first in our lives. Of course, Matthew six thirty three. Seek him first. Yeah. He desires to be on the top of our list and not the bottom of our list. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be hung. He wants us to for us to be hungry and thirsty for more of Him, mm -hmm. and He wants us to have a passionate appetite for Amen. more and more of Him. This is the kind of behavior that it takes if you're going to do something for God. Amen. Big or small. Yeah. Whatever he's called you to do, whether you think it's big or it's small, if the world says, you know, there wasn't nothing. This is what I do. Oh. Well, I'm not competing with you. That's right. I'm only going to do what he calls me to do. Mm -hmm. And if it's small, it's big in his eyes. Mm -hmm. It's big in him. And it's big in me because... I did something for him. Yeah. Amen. So, big or small, and the key word is this: commit and submit. Mm. Amen. So we'll end there, right? Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Thank you. Hallelujah.